from here. You don't sound sincere. So one of my boys, Quiji, asked me to talk about not necessarily console exclusives, but platform exclusives. And what he really wanted to get to the root at was stuff like Origin, Uplay, <coughs> Games for Windows Live, and Steam. Basically, everyone loves Steam. We remember the days when you could get the entire Battlefield collection, just about everything on Steam. And then at some point, Origin was launched because EA decided they want to try and get it on this little gold mine. And frankly, it sucks. <sighs> I remember when we downloaded Battlefield 3, paid full price for it, downloaded Origin, accepted the three foot dick up our ass that entailed that, and then we played Battlefield like nonstop for at least a couple months, laid off, came back maybe three, four months later, tried to play it again. This game isn't installed as administrator just fantastic okay fine not just going to shoot the bird down in the first go uninstall reinstall this game is not installed as administrator uh gray actually went on the ea forums and basically commented until he got perma banned and then i think he used an ip scrambler to try again and he just kept spamming the forums saying how bad origin was and this is the thing, uh, I don't really see a reason why they left Steam. They kind of want a little bit of slice of the pie, but Steam's just an amazingly ubiquitous and amazingly easy to use platform. They've got all the kinks out that Origin and Uplay still have, and they've had years to perfect it. The sales mechanic is fantastic. You can still get the first two Mass Effect games, which is unbelievably pointless if you can't get the third and you know uh, andromeda's neither here or there that's a new release but fuck it <sighs> and the worst thing is i just want all of my games in one hop and i know i can add non-steam games to steam but like when the division launched and you had it on like the steam homepage, and it's just like awesome i want to do this and then you open the division and it opens you play. Ah, uh, I mean, talk about third wheeling to the maximum. I don't really understand the methodology behind all this. The only thing I do appreciate, if nothing else, because I'm never a man to turn down a free gift, especially a nice one. The occasional on the house stuff from Origin. I think I got Far Cry Blood Dragon for that for free. So you know what? That's kind of cool. I would also say there's a shit ton of free Steam games available as well, but nah, it's mostly they're like clicker style games or terrible, terrible like multiplayer games, like almost Clash of Clans esque or just terrible ripoffs of Call of Duty. In terms of other gaming exclusives, I remember when Devil May Cry used to be a PlayStation 2 exclusive, and I, that was the first game I got with my PlayStation 2 when I first got it, and I loved the hell out of it. And secretly i was really happy when it came to xbox 360 when i still had it the um the remake with sort of the whole reintroduction of dante and everything absolutely loved it to bits um the franchise had just had such a bad time and they here with a really nice reboot ah uh, i can't think of any real console exclusives that have ever bothered me too much um gears of war was lovely it was on ps but it's kind of cross-platform now with pc and everything but xbox microsoft same thing so that's to be expected i think to answer it best is we do have the power as consumers as gamers to change this but we don't do enough we still feed them and um it's kind of the old saying it's like the dog that wins the fight is the one you feed. And currently we're quite happy to throw money at EA and Ubisoft to make, on most times, terrible fucking games. But when they do make good ones, we allow them to do stuff like this. If EA had had like complete negative response when they started Origin, then they would have been back to Steam pretty sharpish. Same with Ubisoft. And it's not yet like too late i don't even ever think it will be because these companies follow the dollar but it's up to us 
It's the same with the continuous sort of every year new Call of Duty style thing where the campaign gets about a half hour shorter and the multiplayer becomes more 360 no scope than ever. Yeah, I met you. I'm never gonna neglect you.